What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video today. We're taking a look at the brand new Nalgath class that is coming out in seven minutes. Well, it's actually out right now when you're watching the video, but we'll take a look at it. We'll rank it up. I'll give you my thoughts on it. We'll take a look at the skills, all that stuff. We'll do it all in this video. Welcome back. All right, all right, all right. So the server just updated. We're in the server. So to get the new class, you want to go to the member test class. They didn't put in the class shop like they did for the last one. Void High Lord test. All right. So I looked at the design notes. There's a post on it that was instantly up as soon as uh, the servers restarted. So I was reading this while I was waiting for them to come back online. And uh, the little high on the mana cost. It may be a little bit, but it's I I don't 50 mana. On that skill that's a lot of mana cost but it might be a really good skill it's worth 50 mana and uh your rank 10 passive is increasing crit chance and crit damage by 10 percent but let's stop talking about stats let's actually use the class so based on what i read i'm going to enhance it with a luck uh so i'll enhance it and i'll be back Okay, I have my gear full luck. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use a stable weapon, the Burning Blade. Um, but I would recommend Unstable. It's probably going to be how you hit higher damage with the class. So let's rank it up really quickly. Um, to rank up a class, you want to go to a test server. So go to testing servers, use log out, log back in, log on to a test server. It's pretty self-explanatory. This isn't a guide, but um, Ray made a video on how to rank up really fast. If you haven't seen it, go check out Ray's channel. Just search Ray AQW on YouTube. You'll find his channel. So we're going to, I'm um, using the uh, little trick that he made a video about to rank up this class and get it to rank 10 in a few seconds. Um, so to rank up a class, because you're probably going to have to rank up this class too if you want to try it out, if you're a member, uh, you come to this place right here. It's in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Go into this room. Uh, well, you don't want to fight these Vortex Hawks. You want to fight the other things that spawn in this room. Uh, the Sacred Serpents. Uh, make sure you have a boost equipped. If you have boosts, uh, it'll work without them, of course. But having a boost helps a lot. And I don't know if they patched this yet, either. Um, so, we probably would also want to equip the class we want to rank up, right? That would make a lot of sense. Um... Dot... What? What? It has the tester name on the... <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, it has the tester name on the uh, on the server and no skills. Does it have skills? So it has no skills on a testing server. All right, rip in pieces. Well, well, I guess we got to go back to live servers. I'll be back. All right, so I'm trying to get back onto a testing server and it seems like all of them are offline at the moment, uh, but there's people on them. So it's just not letting me connect to testing servers at the moment. I don't know why. Uh, so I guess we'll have to go to live servers to rank up the class, which really sucks because it'll be a lot slower. But we'll do it anyway. So I'll be back uh, with the class ranked up a little bit. Okay, so the rank 4 uh, passives are really strong. Hit chance to crit chance by 15% and increased damage resistance by 20%. That's pretty insane. Um, some of your skills take away your health, um, but they seem to be doing all like really high damage on almost all the skills. I'm using full luck enhancements. Um, and it seems like I'm hitting really good damage and it looks like I have a little bit of a heal over time I think that's from my three skill um, I haven't really looked into skills too much uh, too far at the moment but I'll look into them once I get the class uh, to rank five the rank 10 passive is very helpful but I don't know if I'll get it I'll see if the testing servers are uh, up and running again in a little bit and we might get the class to rank 10 so far I really like the class uh, but we'll see how hard it is to get it and if it's worth actually getting and you do die a lot with the glass, at least in the area I'm in, which is a harder area with level 99 enemies. I'm dying quite often because there's no uh, heal, like group heal, like most class of the new classes that are coming out have. So I'll be back in a little bit. This class really likes to drain its own health. Uh, okay, uh, what I said about the full luck enhancements and stuff like that earlier in the video i mean it might still be correct full luck i don't know but maybe not because i'm reading through this again and uh take a closer look at it you know other than scam uh, skimming over it when i was uh waiting for the game to load um these are the glacial berserker uh, skills um so 
This is not the Glacial Berserker post, but these are the skills for it, so that rank 10 passive is not correct. What I said was the rank 10 passive uh, for crit chance and crit damage. Not That would be cool on this class for extra crit chance and crit damage, but I don't think that's it because, you know, this is a Glacial Berserker. Um, so that is very interesting. Someone should probably tell Elena that it was wrong. Uh, we also do know a few more requirements, but not all of them. Uh, one voucher of Nolgath. So easy to get. Uh, one Hayden Onyx of Nolgath. I don't know what that is. Let me look that up. Okay, so the Hayden Onyx is dropped by Nolgath himself. Uh, so basically you just gotta put on, uh, what's that class? I can never think of it. Thief of Hours. And, uh, you go kill Nolgath with Thief of Hours. And that's how you get that, I guess. So that's very interesting. Uh, and level 50, which anyone that's doing this quest should be level 50 anyway. And then it, you got to complete an insane quest worthy of Nogaf the Arch Fiend. So they don't give you all the requirements, but I guess you could go kill Nogaf if you needed to while you're waiting. So that is cool. And uh, yeah, we have to wait for this update before we can see the actual rank 10 passive. Back to the actual class. Uh, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'll try to explain the skills for the class here for people that don't have it. Um, so basically your auto attack has two different variable uh, attacks basically. And it's based off what skill you used before it. I think it's a, just a normal, two, it's a 2.3 sec- wow, I died there pretty quickly. Um, it's a normal 2.3 second um, attack, which I think that's on, what's well, around normal speed. So it's not like super high or super low attack speed on it. It's about average. Um, so if you have this skill in place, so if you use this skill and it's active, it will do a little bit of healing, a moderate heal over time, lasts for 5 seconds, it stacks up to 5. Uh, but if you have Unshackle, uh, the, I guess the opposite of Shackle, uh, it will uh, apply a moderate dot, I think. And if Unshackle is played, damage your enemy's soul, the more your weapon connects, apply Soul Breach, inflicting a moderate dot, the last 5 seconds stacks to 5. So it's basically the opposite of Shackle. So depending on whether you need a heal or whether you need a damage, whether you need more damage, uh, that's what skill you would use right there. Whether you're using shackle or unshackle, shackle for hot, unshackle for dot. Uh, the other two skills are you strike fear in your opponent uh, with the eyes of void, dealing moderate damage up to three targets. So it's multi-target class. Chance is done, causing their blood flow to dwindle, applying congested, uh, lowering their hit, hit, haste, and dodge. By 10%, stacks to 3, so up to 30%. Hit, haste, and dodge chance uh, less, I guess. Uh, you feed off their despair, healing for some of your damage dealt. So that'll also heal you. So if you're using Shackle in the 3 skill, uh, that should keep your health up. Technically, oh, from on paper at least. So these two skills themselves, uh, this one will damage up to 3 targets. Um, Increasing your damage resistance by 50% by for 15 seconds. And this one uh, does three targets again. Damage output by 50% for 15 seconds. So you want to do this one before you hit your fifth skill. It's basically. And this one, I'm a, I like I like this skill, but I think the mana cost is pretty high on it. But it's, it's still probably worth it. Um, increase your critical strike damage by 30% for 10 seconds. That's a huge. Also applies Armageddon to enemies as long as they're not Chaos. So I guess this class wouldn't work against Chaos enemies. Armageddon deals massive damage for 12 seconds. So I haven't actually seen the full effects of that. I've just tried on like lower health mobs. But let's try it out on the pirate uh, boss over here. And let's see how much damage this class actually does. I'm using Unarmed which is uh, pure stable. And I'm using full luck on... Actually I might... One, one sec. Okay, checked over, Doge Helmet, has luck on it, you know, you know what it is. Alright, so 69,000 health on this guy, um, and the class is currently rank 5. I don't know what the rank 10 passive is, so I don't really want to go for it at the moment. Uh, when when the rank 10 passive is announced and actually put on the, the real design notes, let's, let's check if it's updated right now. Let's do live. Oh, yeah, okay, so they actually fixed it. Good, good, good. Um... Increases endurance by 50%. That would be a game changer for keeping you alive. Uh, so that looks like that's your rank 10 passive. Uh, would definitely go for that. Yeah, these are your... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's makes sense. So these are your two 
uh, rank 4 passives and not see rank 10. That would make sense. So increases endurance by 50% is rank 10. So you definitely want to go for that uh, because that'll keep you alive a lot longer. Uh, so if I die in this video, uh, yeah, that's probably why because I don't have the class to rank 10. So I would want to use my auto attack a lot, which that just damaged me a lot. Wow, he just did a lot of damage. So the auto attack with shackle in this skill. I mean, this is meant for multi-target. This is probably not meant for bosses. Uh, but look at the heal. That's pretty nutty for a heal. It's doing good, doing a lot of heal. So if we wanted to, say, do a hot, we could use our four skill and then use our auto attack. All right, a dot. Excuse me. And that'll do a damage over time. Very, very interesting. So if we could keep... Okay, so we can use our three and our four skill. And do dot and heal. With a lot of damage going out. Okay, this, I like I like this class so far. I'm a I'm a fan. So we're doing, we're doing consistent like 1700, 1400, with like a 200 dot just going and going. All right, let's hit our fifth skill. And I think we should heal after using our fifth skill. Wow, that damage! Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> yo, that damage is nutty. That's nutty damage. All right, so that is that's class. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, you can test it on the um, if you're a member right now, you can test it. It's coming out on Friday. Uh, once there's more requirements uh, on the uh, like uh, posted, we I'll make a video on it, and uh, it'll be in the news video probably on Thursday. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, kind of a weird video. I did the same thing for Glacial Berserker when it came out. Tell me guys if you like this. Tell me if you guys mix up my words here. Like this video. If you did, leave a like. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.